Welcome to episode four. So today we continue to work on the collective team attack. We did play game model specific for some of the training. The fatigue level started to set in a little bit as guys felt a little bit tight today. So we kept the training grids a little bit smaller today even though we worked with a large number of players. And we again just kept uh, driving home, keeping possession of the ball when we have it. Good rhythm, good tempo of play. We did play in a game model specific formation. And the whole training se session today, again, was really based on attacking organization. And I believe that was the fourth training session in a row that dealt with that subject. We are gonna start to transition pretty soon into the defensive game model. Probably we'll give it one more day. So episode six might go into the defensive game model. So here's the session plan for the day. We start off with easy possession. And we had uh, Rondo, we did a little modification because instead of groups of nine, it fit better with groups of 10. Then we went into the attacking organization, three, five, two game model, um, activity three, you see that. And then at the end, I actually changed it up and we worked on possession using two channels, but was still a, a, a real game at the end. Here we see nice, easy passing pattern. Balls are going 45 degree angles. Nice easy rhythm in there. Again, the whole preseason tempo and rhythm. These nice little combination passes create that. Rondo, you see this is transition after five passes. We transition into the next grid. We leave one in the other grid. Nice and easy. After five transition, you see they go to the other grid. Really well done. Now you have your 352 game model in the middle of the field. I made the grid a little bit smaller than I normally would because I felt that the guys were getting a little bit fatigued, so I gave them less distance to run. The players on the outside of the field operate kind of as the wingers. We have three at the back, three in the center mid, the wingers out wide, two strikers up top. Tried to make a game out of it, so if you hit your striker, you build it up from the back, you hit your striker, striker all he has to do is hit one more player and you could score by hitting it to an end line player so it adds a little bit of competition to the exercise so it's not just straight possession it adds a nice direction to the exercise as well after every three minutes we rotated the outside team in now you see we just played half field again we have two zones one one channel on this side one channel on the other side Supposed to be two touch in there by the attacking team, the team in possession in the outside channel. One a defender can come in, two attackers can go into that outside channel. And the, the way the game is played is the team in possession must hit both channels before they can score a goal. So now this team has the ball, they hit the ball in one channel, now they have to work this ball, if they can, to the other channel. If the yellow team intercepts the ball, the yellow team would have to work the ball into both channels before they could score. Now, I give them unlimited touch in the middle of the field. Only channels are two touch, two attackers, two teams, two guys in possession of the ball, whatever team's in possession can go into the channel, only one defender. Again, this exercise, we did do it in a game model specific formation three at the back, five at midfield. Instead of uh, 11 aside though, we only let one striker go. So we're playing 9v9 plus the neutral player in blue. Sometimes if you wanna add that neutral player and make them your attacker, your striker, that way they get to finish on both goals, it, it's something to consider. And that right there is episode four. That's our fourth training session. Tomorrow, we'll see what we're gonna do. The guys are a little bit tired, so we might go some, through some attacking patterns and some recovery stuff, and then definitely heading into the game defensive model in episode six. Thanks for watching.